Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared and today we are checking out the Arcane Designs Crypt. And it is an M390 blade steel with a Persian style, somewhat of a, a Persian clip point blade that uh, the tip trails up. Beautiful blade. Now, Arcane Designs is known for making very artistic knives and very cool looking knives. Knives that really stand out amongst the crowd and are very unique and are always, at least all the ones I've tried, have been extremely well done, including this one. It is, I believe, done by React. So it has thick geometry though. It is more on the robust side, which most arcane designs are. But it does have a beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind, so sharpening and lowering back your angle will not be an issue whatsoever, which is great. I love to see that. If you're going to have thick geometry, make sure your plunge grind is far away from the edge like this, because then I can lower back my edge angle to ensure that I'm going to get good cutting performance out of a thick blade. Now, if you ask me who this knife is for, I, you know, I would say this is somewhat of a self-defense style knife. At least that's what it reminds me of. Something more for EDC and self-defense. Something that obviously the 99.99% of things it's going to do is, you know, light duty cuts here and there. And in the sense that you might need it, you know, it, it could be a self-defense knife, it, especially because of the blade shape that it has, where the tip is pointing at anything you poke at, whether you're in a reverse grip or a forward grip. Now, of course, you know, being an EDC knife, you know, you can use it for cutting purposes or whatever you need to cut things with, but it's not a blade shape that's going to serve you best with EDC. Not saying it won't work, but that's why I said, you know, light duty stuff, you know. So if you need to open something up, break down some cardboard here and there, it'll be just fine. Ergonomically, it is very comfortable in the hand. I do feel the clip though quite a bit right here, but I don't, I don't want to call it a hot spot because it's not really a hot spot. Uh, cutting with it, you know, you do feel it a little bit more, especially if you don't put your thumb on the spine and you wrap your finger like that. But when I'm choked up like this and, you know, and I'm really bearing down, I don't even feel it because I kind of go over the top of it. So it's really not that big of a deal. It is a liner lock knife with titanium scales that are stonewashed. Now, there is different versions, by the way. This one is the stonewash, but there's also a satin version of this. Now, the flipping action is really, really good. A lot of leverage. It's a very comfortable flipper. It's definitely not a flipper you really go over the top of, but you can. But the primary way to use it is just put your finger right there on the jipping, kind of like a fair and forge flipper tab, and just let the traction kind of take over and just yank down. And damn it, is it snappy. Very, very reliable. Great flipping action feels very premium now the liner lock access they did give you a little bit um i always prefer more but it's it's not bad it's definitely doable and it is pretty much drop shut very very close then you have the hole deployment which works great and it works good for a thumb flick now with the thumb flick i do kind of tend to hit this corner right there when I do it. So it's okay. And I can always grab it and then kick out from the side like that. But the reverse flick feels very, very comfortable. And if you notice the hole kind of tapers down into this little spot right there that you can get your nail into very comfortably. The fit and finish and everything is extremely, extremely well done. And the stop pin, you can see it does have a shouldered lockup and... In the closed position, you can see it uses the same stop pin. Now, there is a lot of weight relieving on the inside. Now, let's talk about some of the negative things. And Well, let's talk about, yeah, we'll talk about the negative things, and then we'll talk about the pre-order, the dates, and everything else. So, one negative. Um, I already said it. I, I kind of wish there was a little tiny, tiny bit more access to the lock bar. It's not that big of a deal, so it's really not a negative. It's just a very, very big nitpick or small nitpick I should say uh, but this next one is to me is a negative this is a, a steel liner lock and 
the pre-order is like $360 or something like that, $365, something like that. It's right around that range, give or take, you know, a few bucks. So I don't know why this is steel. Why wouldn't this be a titanium liner lock? You know, I know it's somewhat of a, like a sub liner lock because the scales are here and the, the liner is screwed in from the inside. Now, of course, if they did it, they'd probably want to do a steel lock bar insert on the liner anyway. So is it that big of a deal? No, not really in this case because it is solid titanium. It is solid titanium. But, you know, the... The liner is is steel, even though, you know, it, it could be titanium with a lock bar insert. I'd like that a little bit better, but it's really not that big of a deal because either way it was going to be, you know, it was probably going to have a steel lock bar insert. Even though I've seen Riet do titanium liners with no lock bar insert and they work great. So now I don't know how much that would change the price or anything, but I do, but I do think that this is on a heavier side. You know, it, it is on the, the more expensive side of things. I think that this is, yeah, it's just, it is a bit overpriced in my opinion. Um, is it great? Yeah, it's great. It's extremely well done. I got to give it credit across the board. It's amazing. But the price is damn hefty. You know, it's in the USA made knives category. You can get a titanium USA made knife for this price. Literally a titanium scaled knife for this price with titanium liners so with the same blade steel and possibly you know equal or better heat treat so it, it's tough it's tough to spend this much granite it's done extremely extremely well and i don't want to take anything away from that and i know that uh you know riet does, is probably the you know it, it, he, they are the leading knife maker in the world as far as quality goes so but and it is cool looking. I kind of like, you know, it is an aggressive looking, mean looking knife, which that goes to the next thing. You know, that's kind of who it's for. It's for somebody that wants an aggressive, good looking, cool knife. You know, when they pull their knife out and they make a slash or, you know, open something up, they want to do it with style. They want people to, people's heads to turn, look and say, what is that? You know, because that's, that's definitely the style of knife. Now, the pre-orders and everything will be... Oh, there goes my, my new mat. The pre-orders will be in February. And then I think they will be being looking towards March. So the pre-orders will be right here in the next couple weeks or very, very soon. Right here in February. And then hopefully they will be finished up in March for you guys. So I will link everything I can down in the description. Now, if you want to find out more information um, as it comes out, you can sign up to his email list, which is not spam. It's just um, giving you updates on when these things are dropping and the process and what's going on. So if you want information as it comes out, definitely get on that mailing list that's in on their website. So I'll link their website down in the description for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.